Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you five quick and very effective productivity tips to help you get your work or your studies done faster. And I haven't covered productivity on this channel for a while, so I had so many requests to film this video coming through on YouTube and on my Instagram account. And actually speaking of my Instagram account, if you're following me at Study With Jess, you would know I have a pretty big special giveaway happening in collaboration with my stationery line, Educationery. So if you want to win a $100 voucher for Educationery, because it's back to school time in Australia, so I wanted to do something nice for you all, then go follow me at Study With Jess and check out this recent post because the giveaway closes in just three days. And I don't want you to miss out if you've been following me and subscribed on YouTube and not realizing I've got all these cool fun things happening on Insta, go check that out. Okay, now let's get into the video. So I have written down five of my favorite productivity tips to apply every day and they have helped me a lot. Some of these things have been inspired by books that I've read, um, seminars I've been to, webinars I've listened to. So I hope you find this video helpful and if you do, thumbs up. Okay, so I thought it would just be so much easier to write them down on my phone and I can go through them one by one now. So the first thing that I wrote down was eat the frog. Now I've heard of this term so many times, but actually when I was listening to a webinar by Marissa Pia, She's one of Britain's, I think she's Britain's number one hypnotherapist. I've mentioned her before on this channel actually a while ago, but she talks about the importance of eating the frog or doing the thing you least want to do first, because that way you're not going to put it off, you're not going to procrastinate. So you also get this sense of accomplishment first thing in your work or study routine. So think, think about, think about, think about that thing that you really can't be bothered doing and it might only take you five minutes, it might take you an hour, but you, it's actually more uncomfortable to sit with that feeling of dread than to actually do the task. So I highly recommend write down all the things you've got to do in your study or working session and start with the thing that you least want to do. Just get it out of the way. All right, tip two that I wrote down was to set alarms on your phone for when to do things so you don't actually forget. I have alarms for everything, everything, literally everything. When to take my vitamins, when to feed and walk Winston, um, when to break for lunch, when to check my emails, when to go on Instagram, you name it, it is on an alarm because my head gets too cluttered otherwise and I just, I forget stuff. And then I just get really upset at myself for forgetting to do things. So it's really helpful so that you don't forget to do things, but it's also really helpful because the second that an alarm goes off, I don't know about you, but I don't like hitting snooze. I don't like putting things off. So if an alarm goes off, I stop what I'm doing and I do whatever that reminder was for. So if you want to boost your productivity, set alarms, set reminders to check emails, start on this particular subject for homework, whatever it is. And then the second that alarm goes off, you've got to exercise some self-control and some motivation there and get straight into that task. The third tip I wanted to share, this is something that I have been doing for about three years since I read, oh, what was that book? It's by Cyril Papillon, Work Smarter, Live Better. There we go. Um, I featured that book on this channel as well quite a few times. So he talks about batching your to-dos. And I find this really helpful, but only when the to-dos or the tasks don't take a lot of time. So say I've got to go to the post office, I've got to check my emails, I've got to make a phone call, I've got to book in for the dentist, I've got to go pick up something for Winston, I've got to go put the rice on for dinner, whatever the to-dos are, if they're going to take maybe maximum 20 minutes, batch them all together and designate an hour in the day to get them out of the way and like first thing the better because that way you've actually eliminated so much clutter off your to-do list by getting all the little things done and out of the way so you can focus on the bigger tasks afterwards. So I am a big fan of batching your to-dos and if it takes more than an hour, you might wanna set aside one hour here and then another hour there just to get all of those things out of the way. And it can even, if you're thinking about you know student life, be to do with like signing a permission slip, um, checking or reading over an essay you've got to submit, uh, reviewing a couple of words you've got for a vocabulary test coming up. So all the little things, they're really good to just batch into one go. Now I'm actually thinking of making a designated video, a separate video to talk about this more in detail, but I wanted to just cover the topic of priorities here. So it's really important, tip number four is about getting clear on your priorities. 
but I feel like we can slip into the bad habit of setting too many priorities. And then they're not really priorities, they're just a to-do list. So try and allocate no more than three top priorities for the day. I know it's hard if you're a student and you've got five different subjects, each with homework and everything's due tomorrow, but if you can, try and get really clear on what's the most important and urgent stuff to get done. Otherwise, you'll just end up overworking and feeling quite overwhelmed. Now, tip number five is something you're actually going to be doing the night before you plan to have a productive work or study session. It's track down all of your to-dos and your top priorities. So I've been using this notepad, it's from Kiki K. Um, and yeah, there's a column for all of your to-dos, there's a section for your top three priorities, and then I'll fill out the gratitude section and the for tomorrow section the day of. And I found it to be so helpful because I know exactly what I need to do. So I wake up in the morning after my lovely morning routine, I can actually hit the ground running and I don't overload myself with work. So I've already planned out my day um, really carefully the night before. So that's something that's been really helpful for me and I strongly suggest you do the same. Plan out your day the night before. And if you've actually checked out the homework planner from my stationery line, Educationery, the homework planner is the big A3 one. Um, there's a section, track down all of your homework and um, organize it depending on the subjects. But there's also a priority matrix so you can plan out what is the most urgent and important tasks and they're the ones that are your top priorities for the day rather than they might be important but not urgent or urgent but not important or not urgent and not important and really don't need to get done. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Study With Jess and check out my current huge stationery giveaway with Educationery because it's back to school time. I wanted to do something nice for you all and you could win a $100 voucher and it's open to everyone, all my viewers, international, Aussie, doesn't matter. Uh, so just go check out my Instagram account and find that photo. And if you've enjoyed today's video, thumbs up, subscribe. And comment down below, what is your number one priority hack or tip? Let's share it and make a whole priority database of tips down below. <laughs> all right, hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next week with another video. Mwah. Bye.